needed tonight to kind of get back into the call? Yeah, no, it felt good. Uh, everyone, nice to get a little confidence going uh, on the score sheet, and then just uh, just just to be able to get a win. It, it's nice, uh, but we have a big game tomorrow against Calgary, so we're going we're going to go in there and uh, beat them. What did you think of your individual performance? Say, looked like two goals, two assists. I felt felt good today. Uh, had some chemistry going uh, out there with my, with my line mates. Uh, created chances. Um, as the game went on, I think uh, kind of got a little more sloppier, but uh, I think overall I played pretty well. Was the office just bound to come with peppering over 60 shots against these guys? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, if you're getting 60 shots a night, you're bound to score some goals. And then looking forward to tomorrow, it's good to kind of get this offense rolling, heading into a big game rematch with the play tomorrow. What, do you think, what are your thoughts on that game? Yeah, I know they, they beat us yesterday, or a couple of days ago, so we're not going to into Red Deer tomorrow and be able to get a, get a win against them. Thank you. Still busy, um, not, not too many shots, just what are your thoughts on uh, a relatively quiet night, but still a shot. I think overall it was a really good effort by our guys. I think going into it, we kind of knew the importance of the game tonight, having uh, lost our first one at Calgary. And a lot of us here from last year remembered what happened last year. So, I mean, we wanted to, to make sure it didn't happen again. So for myself personally, I was just trying to stay engaged the whole game and kind of stay on top of my little details. And I felt pretty good out there. So I'm happy with it. How did it feel from a team perspective to kind of right the wrong from last year, really put in an explosive performance? Really good. I mean, it's our first win together as a group. I think uh, we've had a really good camp so far in terms of practices and fitness testing. Everybody's working hard and coming together. So it's nice to see it pay off and guys get on the score sheet. And uh, like I said, we really came together tonight. So it was really good to see. Have an explosive game like this tonight uh, bodes well for a game, a rematch tomorrow against the Flames. How are you guys feeling going into that one? Good. Uh, I think we know what we need to do. I think we just need to execute tomorrow and come in prepared and, and just take care of the little details. So, I mean, they're going to come out flying again, and they have a good roster, so and we kind of know what we're up against tomorrow, and I mean, it's, we're in for a good one. So Still had a couple of big saves, um, despite the minimal action. Just what do you remember about uh, the couple of the big saves you made there in the second? Uh, the one, the guy was just kind of alone and tight there, so I just kind of tried to hold my feet and, and wait him out there and just stay pretty patient. And, I mean, the guy got the rebound, and I was kind of, I was just there, so I mean, it, it was good positionally, and I mean, I'm happy with that. Uh, other than that, the guys did a really good job. I mean, I, I pretty much saw every puck tonight, every shot from the point, and uh, I was feeling good in there. So, like I said, I was just trying to stay engaged tonight and kind of just play my game, just no matter what the shots were. Dylan, uh, Rookie Cap kind of provides a unique opportunity for you and Libby and Stuart to all kind of share the crease. What's it like to kind of be alongside those guys and supporting one another? It's been awesome. I think we all push each other. We're, we're all out there working really hard. And uh, I mean, every practice we've been out early with Schwartzy and Sylvan, just, just kind of polishing our game. And I think it's nice to have those guys that you're comfortable with and just, just to push each other. And everybody jokes and calls us the goalie union because uh, we're together all the time. We're kind of, we're going to meals together. We're stretching together, warming up together and uh, it's good. We all have a really good relationship, so it's nice to share this with the three of them. The two of them, I guess. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I thought I was moving my feet a lot, you know, trying to move the puck, keep it simple. And I saw an opportunity to maybe get in the play or you know create something. I, I thought I took it, and you know it just happened to be a good night. Got into the play on your goal there, kind of outwitting the defense and the goalkeepers. Take us through that goal. Yeah, uh, Benny made a great pass. Yeah, I was surprised he got it to me. It was right on the money. You know, he made another one to me the other night, so he just keeps finding me, I guess. But uh, I just I got my head up and I saw that he was sliding. I knew if I could just maybe wait it out, I'd have a wide open net, and uh, it happened to go in. 
What does it mean for you to kind of continue this hot streak um, heading into main camp? Uh, a lot, you know, and it's it's not really necessarily about the numbers. You, know, you want to make sure your, your game, your defensive game is is on par for main camp. That was a big part of the third period there as I was trying to make sure my habits, you know, I wasn't, you know, trying to play to the score, you know, do things that wouldn't, you know, work in main camp. So that was a big thing for me was making sure my defensive game was sound. Big explosive game going into a rematch with Flames tomorrow. How do you think the boys are feeling after this? Uh, we're going to be motivated to win. You know, they, they gave it to us there in Calgary a little bit. Uh, we thought we, you know, outchanced them a little bit, and the second period just got away from us. So we'll be looking forward to it, and uh, we'll be ready to go. I can have uh, obviously a great collective game overall, but individually, how important is it for not just you, but all the guys to kind of take this momentum heading into main camp uh, and that withstanding the game tomorrow as well? Uh, I think it's huge. You know, I think when you go into main camp, some guys might, uh, you know, start to not play or they might get a little timid because you know you're going against the big guys I, I don't think that's uh, what you should do I think you should keep your confidence and obviously there's things you're going to need to change to play at that level but I think you got to keep your confidence high and keep playing your game and you know in main camp and you know see how it goes. Rookie camp presents a, a unique opportunity to play alongside people kind of your age or kind of just trying to break into the National Hockey League you being an assistant captain, do you put any yeah. added pressure on yourself wearing an A? Uh, yeah, you know, like tonight in the third period, you know, they, they were coming out and the coaches came in and said, you know, make sure we, we keep playing the right way, don't play to the score. And, you know, that's something I was trying to do in the third day. I was trying to make sure I played the right way, had good habits down, and, you know, try to help Boosh out too with my D partner. You know, we, we played well. He played really well tonight, and he had really good habits too. So uh, it was just an all-around good third period for everyone. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Benson will give it right back to him. Another shot for the point. Redirected. Quick chance. And a save made by Dig. And it was sitting there in the slot for a moment before being cleared to the corner by Goddess. Back in front. Benson wide open. Redirected. This first period. Well, there again, two second round draft choices that the Oilers need to make some hay with. Ryan McLeod finishing off, but the presence of mind for Tyler Benson, and we've already seen Jack, he's a playmaker. He can flat out uh, find guys open on the ice. He had an opportunity to shoot the pocket, said he swung it, got deflected off a stick, and McLeod went down on one knee. Had Nate got McEwen turned it over, and here comes Evan Pola streaking down the middle. He'll hit the line. Drop pass, McLeod across to Caleb Jones. Has Dave down and out, wraparound score. Jones makes it 2 0. Edmonton Oiler rookies. Oiler rookies got Nate McEwen in transition. And Jones has been very active. He's a dynamic skater. There's no question about that. Jumped up, joined the rush. It was a four on two. And he picked the puck up on the short side and wrapped it around. The goal of Yanni Cage is Olivier Digg. Right uh, skate hoping on the back side. Benson, another assist. Jones back door. Any one of three or four players might have scored that goal. And they really had Nate McEwen swimming a bit on that rush. Off the draw, you've got Benson. three still in effect for another minute. As Edmonton looks to build on 2 nothing lead. McLeod in front, deflected, quick shot, score. Tyler Benson found the loose puck right side of the net, and he's got a goal and two assists tonight. It's 3 nothing. Edmonton Oilers rookies. Well, not much of a chance there for Mark Olivier Dang. A lot of skill on the ice for the Oilers rookies and the two guys in the fence. Uh, Bouchard might get some power play time in Edmonton, at least at the start of the year. And I think all day we're going to see for Jay Woodcroft. He's going to spend some time with power play down on the minors. And, and uh, they threw it around and then the Oilers just, you know, outman. Nate McEwen down low. Puckered shit off the skate. Benson's right there. Yanni Cage in the Daigle's had a couple of dozen minutes to go, second period. It's Caleb Jones. He'll hit the line with speed. Shimmy his way into the high slot area. Another lost stick on the ice. Quick wrist shot score. Jones set up Colin Larkin, and he buried it. And that's the first shot we've seen. Mark Olivier Daig had a reasonable chance to stop and not do it. 4 nothing Edmonton. Jones gained zone entry, and it was a one-man zone entry as that. Came down the right side, and then Bunch hooked right through the middle of the ice. Serpentine his way, and uh, Larkin, who was a pretty good 
good uh, point producer. What can you say about uh, tonight's game? I thought it was a good effort. Um, we've challenged our guys to grow every day and get better every day. Uh, a lot of good things showed up uh, in the game tonight that, that we've worked on in practice. So that was a positive sign. Uh, it was a... Um, we challenged our players. Sometimes when ga games get away like that, uh, there's a tendency to get away from who you are or to take uh, chances or cheat the game and whatnot. And uh, we challenged our players tonight to make sure they continue to do things right and uh, pleased with our team effort tonight. A uh, big game from assistant captain Caleb Jones. Two goals, two assists. What can you say about uh, 82's uh, performance tonight, especially chipping in offensively? I think uh, Caleb's been impressive right from uh, day one. And uh, he's another one of these guys that was tasked with really putting in some good work this summer. He did. He came in and tested well. He's got to feel real good about where he's at heading into main camp. Um, what you saw tonight was the byproduct of his hard work. Uh, Ryan McLeod admitted on Monday that uh, maybe he had some first game jitters. Uh, but he bounced back in a big way today. Uh, what can you both say about number 70? Yeah, I think he's, his biggest asset is that he's a skater, and uh, we saw that tonight. I think um, he's played with some pretty good line mates and found a little bit of chemistry. Um, he's take, took a step every day, in my opinion, and uh, he's another guy that should feel good about where he's at right now. Is the offense's output from today just a, a good sign going into tomorrow? I think it... Uh, it makes for some uh, confident players, which is a good thing. We know uh, for us, it's as I said, our, th our theme all along has been to get better every day. And uh, I think we took a step as a group yesterday in practice. We took another step uh, today and a uh, big test for us tomorrow in Red Deer versus Calgary. Jay, you alluded to the team not kind of cheating offensively. You know, they, they played the right way throughout mm -hmm. the 60 minutes. What's it like to see young guys or people who are trying to break into the NHL, kind of stay disciplined yeah, in a game like that? I think it's important, and uh, I think when one line or one D pair does it and they um, they do it right, then that's contagious. And then the next line goes out, and then the next D pairing. And for, for us as an organization to get to where we need to get to, there are that's the type of mindset and um, attitude that we need not only up with our big club here in Edmonton but also in uh, in Bakersfield in the American Hockey League and and furthermore with our prospects in college and major junior um, it was uh, it was good to see tonight uh, a win like this can obviously start momentum uh, as a collective but how is it how important is it for these players to kind of individually take away from this and Take, take their games into training camp? Well, I think uh, that's what we talked about actually in between periods was to make sure that everyone would be happy with their individual game, um, you know, heading into tomorrow. And even though the score uh, was a little bit lopsided, we wanted to challenge these guys with making sure that they were taking care of their game within our game, so to speak, uh, within the team structure. So, uh, you know, we haven't watched the game film yet, um, but coaching staff talking afterwards, uh, quite pleased with our effort. Uh, Wells, Wells wasn't tested as much, uh, but uh, he stood his ground. So he did Rodriguez, yeah. with two netminders. Yeah, both poised. Um, that's kind of why we we do this 40-20 split. I think it's fair for uh, our goaltenders to see action in different types of games. I thought uh, both of them acquitted themselves very nicely. Good. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Jay. Into the corner by Danielson. Quick shot, Lagason. That was blocked. Smythe didn't clear. Maximoff shot score. He threw the wickets of Brendan Jensen. And that inability to clear the puck out of their own end finally catches up with Nate as Maximoff has his first. Uh, Kirill Maximoff was very impressive last year at the Oilers rookie tournament. Uh, played in Penticton, scored a winner in over overtime with one of the games. He guess had a lot of puck block, and that time he finally got some. And he just stepped to the quick one through. Jensen came to the net. Diego. Well, that's Same making, San Diego that's Sports making. Arena where Dallas Akins is now the coach. Here's Lagason. Quick shot, save, made rebound score. And it's Tyler Vessel.
who has had numerous opportunities. And that one, a backhander, he's able to slide home on the rebound. 6-0, second power play goal of the game. This one at 3.59 in the third period. Well, starting that up right now, and you win a face-off on a power play, you have the puck. Johnny Cage at the side of the net for Vessel. Lagason shot. Vessel tipped it on its way to the yeah. goaltender. Actually, he kind of created the rebound Here. from Held which by Van Stralen. Sets a screen for Luke Esposito coming out of the right corner. Reshot score. It went right through his defenseman, Austin Uremchuk. And I'm not sure Jensen ever saw that puck until okay. it was through him. Well, Luke Esposito played four years at Harvard. Got a pretty famous uncle. You may have heard of him before, Mark Messier. Helped lead the Crimson to two conference championships yeah. while at Harvard. And just butt hooked and let one fly. And Jensen is pretty deep in the crease. He's faced a lot of rubber here. And I went right through the legs of the defense. That's a 7 0. The outlet pass on target for Marodi. Right wing forced out wide. Threw it on that where it's pushed. Uh, we mentioned before, Ryan McLeod, you know, could be an Eric Paula type of player because he can really skate. That play started all the way back with the defensive zone support. And then Marodi just bided his time until McLeod drove the lane hard and he fired a pass in front. McLeod got a tip on it, pass Jensen. 8 nothing, And a real heads up play there as well from Cooper Marodi. Four third period goals have really busted this one open. But now to Jones. Moves it over to Bouchard, gets it back, right circle, loads, fires, and scores. Two goals, two assists for Caleb Jones. That one set up by Bouchard. 9 0. Well, not much to say there. I mean, the other rookies were able to complete an entire uh, ozone line change. Bouchard with a lot of poise with Jones just to give and go and there's a net front presence on the play. Actually two other looking players in front of the net. And Jensen's body language pretty much says it all. Not much of a chance for him beating to the short side. It's Creed. Off the draw. Cleared safely out and brought up ice by McKinnon. He centers back door and Nate McEwen on the board. As Ryan Baskerville spoils the shutout bid for the Edmonton Oilers rookies with a minute 52 left in the third period. And you can hear the crowd explode in appreciation for an effort right to the finish line. McKinnick, a beautiful look, and Baskerville makes no mistake. Turnover just outside the, uh, just inside the blue line. And the other rookies were in a bit of a back pedal. Kidiak, as you mentioned, with a real good play and an easy tap in for Baskerville. No. Thank you.